Okay, so today we're part two here of um, uh, week 12's podcast, My Cousin Vinny. Oh boy. <laughs> so anyway, My Cousin Vinny. Uh, just some organization tools here uh, that I'm talking about um, uh, to help us integrate our, our best practices perspectives, the sources of knowledge. Um, now, I'm not talking about my cousin Vinny here, you know, Vinny, I'm saying Vinny, V-E-N-N-Y, you know, the, the, remember the movie with Joe Pesky, Marisa Tomei, uh, lighthearted romantic comedy, so, uh, yeah, it's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about Venn diagrams, uh, and a Venn diagram is something used to highlight the relationship between multiple categories, so when you have you have things that you want to relate with one another in, in, in the manner that we, we, we think of in the best practices investigation. We can think about using a, a Venn diagram to get our, um, our uh, social worker perspective, our literature review perspective, or the, you know, what the empirical evidence tells us, and our consumer perspective. Again, looking for that sweet spot there in the middle. Um, uh, where there's overlap, so, um, and there, there's a web page um, that um, well, we'll go to uh, in a second. I'm going to go ahead and and uh, take us back a step. Uh, remember, in class, we were. Uh, um, importing data into Excel to code it uh, into categories or themes. So um, <clears throat> what I did is, is, is I, I set up a, um, a um, uh, let me go ahead and get rid of this data because it's kind of in the way right now. How do I get rid of it? So, um, oh, I hope I didn't hurt anything there. But um, I set up a, an Excel spreadsheet with a heading that has an ID, uh, source, source of knowledge, a column for best practice, themes, codes you may or may not need, uh, one that I call raw data, uh, and then finally, a memo code, and uh, um, <clears throat> so here I've been working on on on, on some stuff, and um, and and what you can see is, is I have stuff organized by um, uh, by first ID, you know, you know, just just the row that it initially came in, so that it can keep organized, and. Each bit of raw data, I have identified the source. Even the interviewer can be an important part of um, a best practice um, yeah, investigation or a qualitative study. You know, uh, practitioner. Uh, this was another practitioner, so I, so I had those organized. So a little later down, I've got some consumers, and um, um, say I want to I want to get that um, uh, literature perspective in there. So uh, let me go ahead and paste. Uh, oh, uh oh, I lost it. I, I, I was worried I was going to lose it. So anyway, not to be worried. I still have it on in, in its original format. So let me go ahead and uh, copy it here. Um, and then good idea to go paste it someplace else. <laughs> so I'm just go ahead and paste it over here. Uh, into my um, other um, spreadsheet, make sure that it's, it's coming out all right. Oh, this one's not coming out all right. What's going on here? Oh, I don't have word wrap turned on. So, <clears throat> so now I want to cut these and put them over in the main spreadsheet. And, and all this is is, is my um, um, annotated liter literature review. So I know some of you. Uh, 
did the right thing with your literature reviews and um, and um, collated them well. Good for you. Some of you, I, I've made comments that this is a, looks like an annotated bibliography, or even just um, a list of of abstracts. So, so let me paste this in here. So now I've got that pasted in there, um, and, and I want to label what this stuff is. So we'll just call it literature. But literature. We'll just call it liter. Liter. So here we have the literature, um, and we don't have to keep in typing in literature with Excel. We can just grab and, and pull all pull that down because we know this is all literature here, down to the end of, of uh, that's not literature. Uh, <clears throat> so now it, it, it it's pretty well organized, and. I go through a process and 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 trying to decide um, what uh, uh, what each bit of information is saying the best practice is. So this isn't this isn't real data. It's going a whole lot quicker. This this is stuff about about health. But I'm just going to make up something. So this is I'm going to say this is about best practices in substance abuse. So it may be that I have to go through and, and a coding and themes making process like I did earlier. Uh, uh, I'm not going to do that here. So I'm just going to uh, uh, delete these. I'm going to cut those, put them over here. Um, so I go through and I look at my best practices. So I says, oh, okay, so this this I say is is talking about CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, and uh, and here's another CBT, and uh, here's an MI, and here's twelve step. Let's call it twelve step. which stands for twelve step facilitation. Uh, here's another MI. Uh, here's another MI. Natural recovery. Um, pharmaco for pharmacotherapy. Uh, massage, yoga, uh, AA, which is different than 12-step facilitation. Um, MI, CBT. Pharmaco, uh, supportive, supportive psychotherapy, um, family therapy, um, AA, AA, MI, CBT, uh, CBT, MI, CBT, MI, oops, MI, MI. So I'm going through and, I, and, and I'm coding all these. I'll, I'll pause while I, while I finish coding these. All right, I've resumed. I've, I've got my coding all done. So I've gone through and I and I and I've just made it. Um, all right, I've resumed. I've, I've got my coding all done. So I've gone through and I and I and I've just made up um, different um, 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 best practices based on these interviews. So uh, let me just take and make a copy of these and move them over here to another a, a new a new page so that I don't mess up my original here. So uh, what I want to do now is, is to take and sort these by, by um, uh, source. So I've, I've got uh, a variety of different sources. Um, uh, so let me um, uh, sort those. So let me get my sort function. Where's my data? tab 
sort sorted alphabetically expand my selection. So what I have now is all the consumer perspectives about what uh, uh, what is uh, what works. Uh, I have the uh, interviewer's perspective, which is irrelevant maybe, but maybe not. We'll, we'll, we'll pass on interview right now. What the literature says worked and what the practitioner says worked. So, so what I want to do is, is, is just make a new heading called consumer. Consumer. Ah. New heading called literature. New heading called practitioner. And um, and I just go and grab data. So best practice, uh, from, grab all the ones that say consumer, wherever they stop at, right there at 52. Copy those, put them under consumer. Uh, then let me go down here to uh, the little where the literature starts. Let me grab the literature. Whoa, whoa, back off, back off. Where's the literature stop at? So I can kind of jump around, so be careful here. So this one, this literature didn't get uh, a title to it. So, so there's the literature. Copy that over. To the literature spot. Um, see, we've got less sources of literature than we do consumers. That's not a problem. And then finally, um, let me get the practitioner perspective. Copy it. If you see, I got some extra white space. It won't matter. Go ahead and paste that puppy right in there. So. Now um, I, I need to clean this up a little bit, so I will I will sort these columns. I'll just sort the current column. Um, sort the current column. So I'm not expanding the selection, just the the, the current columns. Sort the current column and. So what, what that uh, enables me to do is to kind of look at um, kind of the level of, 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 of what people think are, are most important. And so uh, we can see we have a lot of AA support in consumers, cognitive behavioral therapy, a lot of church level support. You see this thing in the literature called spiritual support. It's, it's, it's unique. Um, and so we might think of it as, as something different. And now 12 step and in practitioner and 12 step in literature is different than AA, which is a 12 step group. So, and we see self help books, which is different from AA, which is self help organization. So, we want to be careful that we don't confuse things. And so, uh, so, so, so we have that information. And so, so, um, um, uh, uh, where do we find the overlap? So, well, this is where, where, we, where we talk to uh, uh, my cousin Vinny at this, this particular website here. So let me go ahead and uh, open that up, right click that hyperlink, open that hyperlink up. And uh, here's my Venn diagram. So uh, what a Venn diagram is, is it simply counts the occurrence of things in a group. So, so let me go ahead and, and uh, grab my consumer elements and uh, copy them over. So put them here, here in list one. We'll just call it consumer. Um, and we'll come back over here, see what the literature has to say. My sources of literature. And we'll just paste that in there. Uh, and we can see we already have three overlapping areas. Um, and then we'll see what the practitioner brings to the table. <clears throat> and 
and you know we we have a, a separate fourth one here that we could uh, we could uh, 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 put a different perspective. Perhaps it's the bean counter's perspective, or the agency director's perspective, or you know something like that. So, so anyway, um, so we've got this nice little uh, graphic here uh, that Vinny made for us. Uh, let me make it a little bit larger, a little bit more more seeable, based on these variety of of, uh, of uh, elements, and I sorted them in uh, Excel. I didn't really need to. They could they could be done in in in, in different ways. Say that say I, I've got a late entry and I just want to add another AA over here. Um, it 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 doesn't change anything at all. Uh, um, so um, um, what does this bit diagram do for me and, and tell me? Uh, well, one, it, 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 it shows me where the overlap is. And so the nice thing I can do in this, in this little interesting website uh, is, is click on any one of these numbers. And so I'll start with the sweet spot. So the common elements that consumer, the literature, and the practitioner all say work is CBT and motivational interviewing. So, so that's good to know. Uh, uh, when we're doing our analysis, it might also be important to know where does the literature and the consumer overlap in this thing called natural recovery. It's like, oh, some people just quit. So that, that's important to know about. And uh, um, uh, where does the practitioner and the consumer overlap? Yoga. Well, oh, isn't that interesting? Um, uh, the literature and the practitioners, they like 12 steps in pharmacotherapy. Uh, Practitioners believe in family therapy, but nobody else does. Uh, the literature says case management and massage and spiritual interventions uh, 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 work. And finally, our consumers like AA, church, um, hypnosis, and self-help books, but nobody else seems to think those are worth a darn. So, so it gives us some 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 information uh, about. The interactions of, of practitioners and literature, the practitioner and the consumer, the literature and the consumer, etc. So, and again, we're looking for that sweet spot. So, plus, you know, it, it gives us a nice little picture that we can download into our uh, 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 into a uh, picture file, place in our report, you know, and just save that as you know a picture, save picture as, and so you've got Vinny. So. Uh, there we go. That's making your Venn diagram, and uh, it's, it's a useful little tool to help you kind of organize your um, uh, the number of best practices. And and you can do this uh, with a lot of different things. You can do it with uh, with your coding. Uh, it's, it's just it's just a, a neat little tool uh, to kind of help you if you're particularly if you're a visual person to kind of visualize what's going on with with these uh, data categories. So. I hope you find this helpful. So thank you very much.